Well, what's happening here? They're doing what with the bacon? What are they doing? They are serenading my bacon. Serenading the bacon. Have you ever heard of that, America? You are witnessing at, and personally visualizing Billy's bacon. We are on location with this gentleman right here. What is your name, sir? Billy Stitt. Billy Stitt. Tell me a little bit about you and what we're doing here. My name is Billy Stitt, and I make small batch bacon in Fairhope, Alabama. How long have you been making small batch bacon? I've been making it for quite a while, but uh, I'm illegal the last three years. How long have you been making bacon? I do like that one. Now, what is small batch bacon? What does that mean? It's very simple. Uh, you know, we don't have it just sitting on the shelves trying to sell it. I mean, we're making it as we go. It takes 10 to 12 days to make a batch. So fresh bellies roll in within 48 hours of slaughter. We cure them for eight days. We slow smoke them using hickory. It's a 10 to 12 day process, and we're doing it in small individual smokers. Um, so everything is hand packed, hand wrapped, a lot of a lot of personal time put into it. Take, tell, take us through like how long have you been doing it? What got you into the bacon business? Uh, you know, I started traveling with my dad as a teenager. He sold empty bags and boxes to a lot of great people in the food industry. You know, if they made a widget, they needed a bag or box to go around it. He designed it, and uh, I thought I was going to take over his business, which I really. You know, came close to doing, but I fell in love with the entertaining side, taking people to breakfast, lunch, dinner, mm -hmm. talking business, and all that. So I became a foodie. Um, you know, got a degree in hospitality management from Ole Miss. Where else could you get? A and you are a chef. <laughs> I'm a chef, but I'm but I'm more of an operator. I mean, I really, I'm you know, I'm a chef by lucky enough to be a chef at a restaurant. These are your recipes, are they not? The they sauces are, are yours. The, the the method is yours. The process, the methodology, the philosophy, it's all yours. Yeah, it's all my brand. But it's, it's, you know, there's pieces and parts that I've taken and, and more of a tribute to places that I've worked before and that out of total respect to them. I don't try to hide that. I mean, my Holy Cow Burger is very close to the Filet Paulette, which was a steak recipe we did in Oxford, Mississippi. Tell me a little bit about what, what, what are people going to experience when they come to your restaurant? They're going to experience a great certified Angus burger with a fresh local bun. Uh, of course, they're going to get my bacon, which is made right behind this wall. We're making, you know, two, three, four, five thousand pounds a week. And it takes 10, 12 days to make a batch. So you have to sing to it. So they serenade the pork belly. Thank you. Serenade the pork belly? That's right. Serenading the bacon is what you're going to be doing right here at Billy's in Fairhope, Alabama. That's pretty spectacular in my opinion. Serenading bacon because it will ultimately do what with that bacon? We're going to sell it. And uh, we're going to serve it in fine restaurants all across the country. And it's going to taste better than ever because how many how many people know anybody that's ever serenade bacon? Not many. I never knew that before I started here we go. And you have some comeback sauce. Oh, yeah. Now, I didn't create the comeback sauce. It was created in Jackson, Mississippi, in a restaurant in the 1800s called <laughs> the Rope Tester. Yeah? Which is no longer there, but okay. it's a heavy mayonnaise base, lots of onion, uh, chili sauce, wonderful, wonderful. It certainly makes you want to do what? Come back. <laughs> it walks itself right into that line. It's perfectly right. it's beautiful. So talk to me a little bit about this little uh, part of the uh, restaurant. We're on the stage. What happens here? This is the baking stage. This is where anybody and everybody that's traveling down I-10 across the country wants to stop and play. Uh, we've got a full service uh, PA system, amps, speakers all built in, mics. Everything's here except for you and your, and your instrument. So you can come anytime, plug and play, have a good time. And a little bit of chicken fry. Cold beer on a Friday night. A pair of jeans that fit just right. And the radio no one fails here. It's, it's a place to get out and... and it's an open, supportive yeah, environment, right? Yeah, exactly. So someone comes up here, they bring their guitar, they bring their yeah. bass, they bring their upright bass, their saxophone. There's no hook to pull you off the stage. No, yeah, no it's not the gong show. Right. What, what kind of experience are people going to have when they come in here? Super casual. Come to the counter, place your order, come to the bar, grab a beer, grab a whiskey, grab a wine. Um, take care of yourself at the tables. All self-service. Um, you can play ring hook game. Bag toss, outdoor yeah, you got ping the, pong. Uh, we have squirrel wrestling on Saturday night. I mean, it's pretty serious. Yeah, you got the uh, cornhole. Cornhole. Oh, yeah. Goldfish races. I mean, whatever you want. And you do you, you, you cater. You have events here. We do. It's an event venues for you know five people or you know however many takes. You know, we've done hundreds of people here at the time. We like people to be competitive here. If they want to use the stage not to play musician but to just play their art, their craft, mm. or something fun. I love it when chefs come up here and we can set up a little demo kitchen. Okay. And they can do a featured special. That's a lot of fun. I want my customers to come here and just relax and chill, but also walk away learning something. And now you distribute as well. We do. We are um, U.S. Food Distributors. 
Rodium Sons out of New Orleans, Royal of Union Seafood out of Mobile. Um, we're located in grocery stores like Little Bears in, in the New Orleans area, Piggly Wiggly's around here, Greer's around here, uh, Rouse's, and Winn Dixie's. All right. And then many, many little small, great little boutique stores like uh, Allegra down the road, or so so you don't have to come here, gang. You can go right to your local uh, supermarket right. if you're in the area. Grab your, you get your uh, Billy Billy's uh, bacon right there at your house. You get your house and eat it. And, and speaking of that, you know, if they're anywhere from let's say Houston to Jacksonville or up to Atlanta, that's big. If uh, if their place doesn't have it, all they have to do is request it. We can get it. Mm. By request on demand, so to speak, right? Yeah, that's right. Also, feel free to bring your artifacts here. Bring your goodies, right? Bring your what goods. What do you say about that? You know, I'm a brand guy. I'm a logo guy. I like people that like to toot their own horn. Um, I don't I know anybody people. that likes to toot I, their own horn. Do you guys? <laughs> I didn't decorate this place. I just had, I said, you know, bring your stuff up here. Screw it on the wall. Tack it up. Nail it up. Whatever it takes. But, uh, you know, you'll find out the next morning whether I love it or hate it. But, uh, you know, keep it small. Keep it simple. simple but... If you have a cool brand and something fun, a hat, a shirt, yeah, an autographed piece of memorabilia, a photograph of you and like your favorite baseball yeah. player or singer, or a surfboard with a flaming ninja with chainsaws. Yes! Like, yeah, I love all that stuff. <laughs> Bring it up here, yes. man. Clutter the place up. It's it's a, it's about the little personality of your customers, right? It's a die. Yeah. 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 All right, cool. What else do you want to tell the people of Gage TV about your restaurant? For Burger Joy, certified Angus beef, beautiful patties, uh, lightly seasoned with salt and pepper. Uh, we cook them to order. We serve them rare, all the way to well done. Kind of laugh at you when you order well done, but we do serve them rare. Um, the, the lettuce, the onions, the tomato, or as, as, as I say local, but as regional as could be. Mm, when it's very season. fresh, very yeah. fresh. And um, you know, we're we're just desserts. Uh, you got great yeah, desserts. Oh my gosh, we do a pork belly and salted caramel brownie dessert Shut called the, the Belly's door. Chocolate Belly. It's incredible. Are you kidding me yeah, right now? It's killer. Those pork bellies are one of the greatest things I've ever put in my mouth ever. Oh, we got chicken wings, the die far, uh, tenders. We have a veggie burger for vegetarian. And then of course you got the sauces that you, oh, you toss them in, right? Eight or ten different sauces, all different varieties. We got great salads. We do a grilled wedge, blue cheese, sweet Asian chicken. And I just ate and I'm getting hungry again. <laughs> All right, man. Well, thank you very much for the time. The yeah. food was fantastic. When you come here, get the cheeseburger, get the pork bellies. Oh, my God. The Die For Best Pork Bellies I've ever had in my entire life. they got a great selection of cold, refreshing adult beverages. They've got sweet tea here and some amazing desserts. I can testify to that myself. Right. Thank you very much for your hospitality. We certainly do appreciate you. Guys, come on by. It's Billy's Small Bacon Shop right here in Fairhope, Alabama. And remember, as always, to stay engaged to Gage TV. Have a fantastic day, guys.